So today we are going to make one of our summertime favorites. It's um, lovingly referred to as macaroni salad. By the way, I'm not wearing an apron today. I think my new apron comes tomorrow. Um, Mom told me to get a better apron, one that was more PG if I was gonna keep doing this. So mom, I'm ordering a new apron. In the background, you see I have some wa water ready, six quarts of water ready to uh, boil. Um, I always put a little salt and oil in my water, but we'll start that to a boil once I get moving on some of the vegetables. So um, this salad is real simple and it's real fast. So what it takes is, for one batch is um, two cucumbers, one red onion, one red and yellow pepper. I'm using tricolor uh, grape, to, uh, grape or cherry tomatoes. Um, I think officially they're called cherry tomatoes, but they're tricolor. And then I switched a couple years ago from using elbow macaroni <clears throat> to now use Tricolor Rotini. This brand, it's really good. And we're gonna use a serious dose of Hellman's mayonnaise to bind it all together. And for seasoning, I have about a teaspoon and a half of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and about a teaspoon of oregano. So let's get started. What I like to do first, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my cherry tomatoes. We're gonna to go ahead and start those first. And all we're gonna do is simply cut them in half. And add them to the bowl. Uh, direct. Okay, welcome back. You can see I get the cherry tomatoes all cut in half. They're in here. Went ahead and peeled my cucumbers. I'm gonna slice those up. Got my onion ready to slice, capped and de-seeded my peppers. And I'm gonna keep going. Oh, by the way, I went ahead and started my water. So we are bringing the water up to a boil. Just cook the rotini, elbow noodles, or I'm sorry, elbow macaroni, anything you wanna add as far as your pasta, just cook it to the directions on the box. I'm gonna basically bring the water to a boil and then I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna boil those noodles for 10 minutes and then we're gonna drain them and add them to all these fresh ingredients. I think that's part of the key to why this is so good is because of the a little bit of a blanching that takes place when you add the hot noodles in with the tomatoes and the cucumbers. So it's pretty cool. Director cut. One thing about this recipe, when you've been making it for as many years as I have, you kind of get an eyeball for the you know, the right amount of ingredients. And you don't want the onions to overpower the cucumbers, the cucumbers to overpower the peppers. So while we were off camera there for a minute, I decided that those were very large cucumbers. So we only used one and a half of that size. I also decided that that onion was a very large onion. So, we are only gonna use about a little over half of that onion. So we have a nice mixture of all of these ingredients to go with our pasta. We don't want anything to be too strong. We wanna have a good mix. And once we get these peppers in, this one is trying to flatten out on me. Got to teach the pinky to curl as much as the other fingers do, or you might have extra protein in the salad that you really didn't need. So we got to teach that pinky to behave. Okay, 
All of our veggies are now cut. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this cutting board. And just to give you an idea on what kind of mixture we have, I'm gonna stir this up real nice. And you can see, look at that color. Um, for somebody who's colorblind, I can see all the brilliance of color in this salad. Here's our spice mix. Go ahead and put it in. Stir it nice and thoroughly. Get all that salt, pepper, oregano. Nice and well distributed through the salad. Okay, water is not quite to a boil yet, so we have just a few more minutes until we can put our noodles in to boil and pick up on the next step. Okay, we've got our noodles ready. Um, one of the things that you need to do is make sure that you get your noodles off the stove, drain, and into the mix while they're still nice and hot. I think that really has a lot to do with making this successful. And as I stir this, you can smell the heat permeating all of the vegetables. It's really quite amazing. Okay, so we stirred in the noodles. Got our spices in there. Now we're gonna give it a hefty dose of mayo. I would say that, you know, I hate to admit it, but I don't think I've ever actually measured the mayonnaise. Uh, some people, this might be where you adjust it to uh, make it a little bit kinder on the belly. You could go a little light on the mayo. Um, also, those of you that like to taste a Miracle Whip, or any of those specialty mayonnaises, you can experiment, but I think we use probably somewhere around a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of mayo, and that's our finished product. Now, this is, uh, this is really good, but it goes from really good to great by sitting in the fridge overnight. And once it cools down, it feels to me, I don't know, this is probably not perfect uh, cooking terms, but it feels to me like everything binds in the fridge overnight and you get this wonderful, wonderful salad. So that's it. Make it. I hope you enjoy it. Here, take a taste.